Hey yo together and very welcome to the start of two crazy replays today with activity on Terraform Letter Edition. Oh yeah, this one? Okay. Um I wanna show you the Hellion Marine Elevator. How powerful it can be. And you will see it in this short small replay. So here we have spawning in the left top position, the red Terran Thor. Who is playing against me, spawning in the right bottom position of Terraform, the blue Terran Alex Sasher. And why I wanted to show you that is because Thor, after the game, mentioned that he basically... Um, yeah, was perfectly prepared for the kind of aggression I was uh, throwing at him. And that there was no way, theoretically, that he would have lost the game. So let's enjoy. We have the supply depot at that position to prevent any Reaper from jumping in. That's exactly what Protoss are doing most likely as well on that map with a pylon. So you can just jump in here and there and go up the ramp and that's it. So a stalker and a mothership can deal with a Reaper quite easily. We have barracks and refinery. And for me gas first. So this time you will be able to see the uh, build order. It's 11 gas, uh, 13 ba uh, barracks. As soon as the barracks finishes, orbital command and factory. Uh, 17 supply depot. Then you get as soon yeah, as the factory finishes Hellion. After two marines, reactor. No second gas at all. Uh, as soon as possible. The starport, then the factory finishes, just crank out as uh, Hellions all the time. Get a third supply depot at 22-23 supply. And another one later on and then just produce a medivac as soon as possible. Scout with the Hellion. Uh, grab your three Hellions at the front. As soon as you uh, have six Marines and the medivac finishes, load up all the Marines, boost across the map. Elevator everything into the main base. The Hellions like here in a, a nice spot or here or at the dark spot where he doesn't see it. That's that's the thing. I'm still not... It's difficult. If he sees it, the problem is... Okay, look. If I'm elevatoring like here and there's a supply depot and he sees it, it's deflected. But if I elevator here, for example, if the supply depot would be lowered or not there, I can have the medevac right there, unload the marines, and as soon as the marines are almost all unloaded, grab the Hellions, put them into the medivac and it will continue unloading the Hellions then onto the high ground, which is so nice. So that's what I am choosing for so far. Uh, very nice as well here with the Reaper. Look at that. So for him, it's being the tech lab, most likely Benji because of the second gas. And there you go. Reactor, Hellion, look at the rally point onto that Hellion. Don't lose the Hellion. Never lose the Hellion. Very important. The good thing is, your build, uh, this build is also strong against Banji because it hits before Banji with Cloak is out. Most likely. Uh, there will be a Banji, but not Cloak. So you don't need to scan and you can with the Medivac micro against the Banji. Which is very good. So here I'm going in, see, okay, no bunker, no second base so far. That's good for me. If you see Cloak, he scans and sees, okay, elevator play. He sees it. Uh, there has... This can't be anything different. One gas, naked factory, naked starport, and the reactor barracks. This has to be the elevator build. There is no other way. It could be theoretically Widow Mine, but that's. Ah, it doesn't matter too much, to be honest. So there we go. Loading in, boosting across the map. And as you can see, Cloak is far from being done. The Benji might pop just in time, 20 seconds to go, but it's. Ah, <laughs> So there we go. I'm dropping right here now, interestingly. Ah, there's a bit of mine. As well as some... Yeah, he knows. He knows the elevator is coming. He knows it. There's the Banji. In position. Look at that. Shooting on those Hellions. And there you go. And now look at that with the Hellions loading in. Swing and they get unloaded as well. And the damage is huge. He took so much damage on the Banji already. The bit of mine out of position. Cloak not ready. The Marines fall as well. The Vidomine Burrows gets a shot of that Hellion. No, it died! Oh my goodness, the Vidomine died! And yeah, 
He lost everything. Bad focus fire. And I can tell you, that's not looking good here. Saving those marines. Uh, dealing even more damage, being annoying. Running around, he just got the Widow Mine. The Raven is on the way. So this might help. Focus fire on the Widow Mine. Not gonna happen, just load everything up. Boost again. And there we go. He lost so much already. There will be the auto turret. But not in a very good spot. And I can just go around. And yeah, he's down 50 to 50 supply. That's basically a GG. So. This can happen. This build can be that strong. So this guy is high master, rank 8, 1, something like that. Top 8. Uh, it can be super strong. But also it can be super weak. And I haven't figured out yet when do I drop where and how. And what do I focus. That focus. So that's, that's the thing which I still need to figure out. It can be game ending. It can be, it can be super strong. But also sometimes can be super weak, like the auto tour doom drop. But with that, you have more uh, possibilities. I mean, if you scan the main base before you drop by the auto tour doom drop, with the tanks and the raven, auto turrets and marines. That's why it's called auto tour doom drop. You scan the main base and see, okay, no way. You just pressure the front and you're fine. Or you pull back and go for a big attack later on, if, if in, as soon as you have enough Vikings to contest air control and slowly push forward the natural. So yeah, that's that's that. Okay, one more game to cast, then I'm through all the replays. Whew. But don't worry, there will be more for sure. I will, I will continue playing StarCraft 2 for a long time. I might even go for some ranked games and record them, not quite sure yet. Uh, depends a little bit on my mood, but we will see. So, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day and good